Good morning. This is Dale from Lone Cabin here with Erica Myrie from Charles Rutenberg. Hi, Hello, Erica. everyone. Hello. I'm here to talk to you today about manual underwrites, specifically on VA loans. What is a manual underwrite? A manual underwrite is for a person who, you know, we entered all your information, we've accurately calculated your income, we've looked at your assets, we've evaluated your credit, and we actually input all this information into AUS, which is an automated underwriting engine, and uh, it doesn't give us an approval, it gives us a refer. So sometimes, uh, in a lot of cases, it's very case by case, we can get in a manual approval or actually physically submit it to an underwriter and they review the whole file for what it is. So I'll give you an example. I, I oftentimes will get veterans maybe with slightly lower FICO scores and for whatever, it could be a multitude of reasons, but for whatever reason, I cannot get them approved on an automated underwriting. So we'll take a manual. The number one thing I'm looking for, the number one thing before I start the manual process is do they have a verifiable rent history? An underwriter is going to want to see that someone stepping in the into a mortgage payment has shown the ability to make some type of a payment close to that via rent payment. So I usually ask for 12 months canceled checks right up front. You know, we're going to review the income, the assets, do they have any compensating factors? You know, maybe they have three months reserves, 401k or money and savings. But all this stuff comes into play. And one of the nice things I can do, Erica, is I can actually submit this to an underwriter without a property. So in other words, I can take somebody for 180000 but they haven't they're not under contract, they have not found a property, they have some properties in mind. Submit it to the underwriter, canceled rent checks, all the things that otherwise would be requested if there was a property, and have the underwriter evaluate the credit and income. If we're fortunate enough to get an approval, I would call that a commitment to lend from underwriting. Basically, the underwriter has issued me a credit and income approval, and now I send them out with you looking for properties, making sure they stay within the parameters that they were approved. So, I, you know, for I love the veterans. Thank you, all of you, for your service out there. And Erica, when you're taking out first time home buyers, specifically veterans, um, that is really something uh, that a lot of realtors miss that a manual approval, or they feel like there's a certain fight, they, they may ask the, the client for their FICO score. Technically, VA does not have a FICO requirement. The lenders, the lenders input those, what we call overlays. I personally don't have any overlays. If VA approved it, if we got an approved eligible on a low FICO score, I can do that. I can submit a manual with a low FICO score. If the underwriter approves it, I can do that. So I, th these are things, not only that I want to tell you, but the rest, of the, you know, the rest of the people out there watching this video that are available that you otherwise think might not be available. So for you as a realtor, what are you experiencing with veterans as you take them out? Well, I do work with lots of veterans. And once again, thank you for your service and we're so happy to serve you. Um, um, the most important thing is if the veteran ha buying a house, um, it doesn't really matter. But if the veteran buying a townhome or the condo, you wanna we wanna make sure that that specific association takes VA lending, and that's like the main thing because it's very hard sometimes to find the place that veteran likes and that they take the VA financing yes. also. So that's. Right. That can be very challenging and very difficult. So before we even go to see the unit, I want to make sure that that specific association takes VA financing. Right. There's no sense of looking at it if exactly. it doesn't allow it. Right. Exactly. 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 And, and you know, as we use as lenders, we use parameters where you debt ratio. So we're assessing your total debt, meaning the proposed mortgage payment, all your other debt versus your qualifying income. VA is very. I don't want to say relax, but they'll go higher on the debt ratios based on your residual income. So I don't want to get too in depth here, but there are really, VA's in a very aggressive program <clears throat> as far as how they will lend. That you only have to be two years out of a bankruptcy or foreclosure versus three on FHA. So there's a lot of pluses. And before um, you think you can't qualify, have a, you know, have a seasoned or experienced mortgage professional do a, a, an actual formal underwrite of your file, not their own underwrite, a manual underwrite, actually submit it to an underwriter and get a commitment to lend on your credit and income.
So if you like this video, um, share it and like it at the bottom. My name is Dale from Lone Cabin. Uh, my email address is dale at lonecabin.com. My phone number is 630-479-2719. If you're in the suburban Chicago area, Naperville, Lamont, where else are you at, Bolingbrook, Romeville, Willowbrook, Westmont, um Anywhere around those areas, please call me. My direct number here is 708-829-4687. My email, emyreholmes at hotmail.com. Thank you. Thanks for your time, Erica. Thank you.